Okay, so Hinata, the captain of the Seven Deadly Sins, is trying to get everybody back together. Fun. Him and, I think, Yachi? The apparent princess of Karasuno fetched me from the forest where I hung out when we disbanded. I didn't know the pig was important. And we just got Kuro now, and not even a day in, and he's already got drunk. Anyway, Hinata told us up next is Kenma, and Kuro thought he was dead, but then also agreed. After dealing with all the stuff that had happened in the morning, we got to the site where apparently Kenma was last seen, but first Hinata said to go to get the tavern planted first. He told me to get customers, but just had to add a little but just had to add that little bit at the end. I glared at him at first, but then smiled unobliged. He then told Girl to do what he was told, but he was gone. I started yelling, or just loudly talking because I was a giant, to get people to come to the tavern. I tried and tried, but it looked like no one was here. Hmm. The other two went inside, and I was left to keep yelling. We then followed Hinata because he sensed something. I don't know what he actually does. He hopped up and tapped Curl on the head to make him stop. Alright, what did you do this time? I asked and he looked at me. He started it. He pointed to a small floating being with a spear and hair that started dark brown but changed to blonde. I looked at him and recognized him almost immediately. Kenma! Me and Hinata yelled. Kuro's eyes widened in shock. How the hell can that little brat be Kenma? He yelled and pointed. Maybe he's changed a bit? Hinata asked. A little bit? That's not even the point right now. Kenma, we finally found you. I said and all he did was look at me, but then flew off. Huh? Almost everyone asked. We went back to the tavern to discuss what had happened. I watched from the window while Kuro set out food. There were also two kids that I didn't recognize, and apparently the food was for them. I watched as Kuro asked them a question about the necropolis. They, a they answered his question after him and the captain argued about whether or not that was Kenma. They told him that he came to them on how to get there, and how to get there as soon as possible. They also said the entrance to it can be found here, but you can't get to it just because you wanted to. I looked to Yachi and he needed to set up the classic food in front of the rabbit trick, but with the pig. Uh, I don't think that's right. Yachi said. So then it's a grave? He asked, and the kid said it was, wasn't a grave, but a land for the dead people. Carl asked if they've ever been there, and the first kid de denied it, but then the second one started saying a metaphor? I don't know. Carl thought for a sec and ruffled the kid's hair and said thanks. He called her Elaine too, which was kind of weird, but she corrected him. 
I sat up from the window and wondered why Cameron just left me like he did. I found Kuro sulking, so I laughed at him and called Yachi over when I saw the flowers. They came over and Hawk blew on some of them, which made the puddles fly, fly up. Then they started swirling, and now we were in a tornado of flower petals. When they had disappeared, we were in a place with a lot of green crystals. Kuro then ran off to something, and Kemma flew after him. What now? I asked, and Hinata suggested we run after them. We decided to yell for them too. Hinata stopped and then said we weren't alone. Hawk and Yachi started freaking out. But I looked around and tried to calm them down. But then someone suspicious had, feared, had appeared in the front of us. She started addressing the captain by his sin. She also said that she was a holy knight. Uh, how'd you get here? Hawk asked and she said by dying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You killed yourself to get in here? I asked and she said yes. She then pulled out her sword and blasted a wave of sword magic stuff in Yashi and Hawk's direction, then pointed to Hinata. Hawk quickly got Yachi out of there as per the captain's request. I got ready to fight and nodded to Yachi when she said to be safe. All of a sudden the captain went flying and I assumed it was my turn next. And I was right. I fell onto something and the something was the captain. But he was holding me up. The Holy Knight then came back to finish what she started. Hmm, Wander of the Serpent Sin. She muttered and then started explaining my powers. Yeah, what you think? I said getting back into a fighting stance. She said it was disappointing. I'm about to throw some hands. Well, that was fun. Crow came back and so did Kemma. And then Yachi and Hot came back, but then started sparkling. Then poof. The rest of us started sparkling too, and we went poof. When we were back in the field of flowers, I sighed. That place was really weird, I complained. Yachi then gasped and we looked at what she was looking at. That holy night was there and she was still. So she put herself in a state of near death. Hinata said. Doesn't that mean she's gonna wake up soon? Hawk said and Kuro laughed. I say we kill her while the killing's still good. I glared at him. You dumbass, we can't kill her. Maybe I'll petrify her. Kemma muttered. Hinata decided that he would deal with her. He tied her to a tree and drew on her face, which we helped out on, and then went back to the tavern. Yum, fish. Kemma shyly asked if I was okay, and I said yes, and nibbled on my fish. Carl was drunk again. 
Kazuma growled at him and then asked who Yachi was, and Hinata explained. Kama changed back into the form that he was before, and Kuro spit out his drink. Hey, you changed clothes, Hinata said. Look closer, idiot. Kuro said. Kemma introduced himself quietly, and Yachi introduced herself too. Kemma then poofed back into his new form and flopped onto his pillow. His clothes changed again. He nods a deadpan again. Would you look closer? Wait, where are your treasures? Kemma asked. I lost mine. I said, kind of embarrassed. I stole mine. The captain grinned. Mine got stolen. Carl grinned too. Kemma just glared at them. I'm glad you're back, Kemma. I smiled and saw and saw him turn away with a tiny blush on his face. Yeah, me too. He smiled from his pillow. Kuro and Hinata both smirked at us. Shut up. We both said and smiled at each other.